Hello everyone, welcome to Poor Man Stacking. This is a video response for Ravenhawk Coins. He wanted me to do a video. So I'm doing a video on his request. This is going to be my longest video I think I've ever made. It's about pencils. I hope you like pencils, because pencils are cool. I bet you didn't know that modern day pencils owe it to an ancient Roman writing instrument called a stylus. Scribes use this thin metal rod to leave a light but readable mark on a papyrus, an early form of paper. Other early styluses were made out of lead, which is what we still call pencil cores, even though they actually are made out of non-toxic graphite. But pencil history doesn't stop there. Graphite came into widespread use. The discovery of large graphite deposits in England in 1950 in sorry in 1564 appreciated and leaving a darker mark than lead the mineral proved so soft and brittle that it required a holder originally graphite sticks were wrapped in string later the graphite was inserted into a hollow wood stick that we know as the pencil today Num Nuremberg, Germany, I can't pronounce it, somewhere in Germany, was the birthplace of this mass-produced pencil. In 1662, spurred by Faber-Castell, established in 1761, Lyra Stettler and other companies, an active pencil industry developed through the 19th century. Industry Revolution. Sorry, I'm not very good at reading. But so that's two minutes. Now I have to go for three more minutes. Pencil, pen, pen, pencil history, American expressed itself. Early settlers depended on pencils from overseas until the war with England cut off imports. William Monroe, a Concord, Massachusetts cabinet maker, is credited with making America's first wooden pencils in 1812. <coughs> Another, excuse me, another Concord native famous author, Henry David Thurdo, was also renowned for his pencil-making prowess. Whatever that means. Click here to learn more. And blah, blah, blah. The American pencil industry took off when the, when the Joseph Dixon Crucible Company, now Dixon... T Why do all these words have to be really big and weird? William Monroe, a Concord, Massachusetts cabinet maker, is credited with making America's first pencils in 1812. Another Concord native famous author, Henry David Thoreau, was also renowned for his pencil making prowess. Prow, prow, prowess. P R O W E S S. If you know what that word is, please let me know. The American pencil industry took off when the Joseph Dixon Crucible Company, known now known as Dixon. Tick o T I C O N D E R O G A. I have no idea. And the more pencil manufacturers started getting into the act, and towards the end of the 19th century, New York and New Jersey hosted several factories established by prominent German pencil manufacturers, including Faber Castell, Ebenhard Faber, Eagle Pencil Company later Burrow and General Pencil Company. The first mass-produced pencils were, were natural and unpainted to show off the high-quality wood casting. That's kind of cool. So pencils used to be really nice wood instead of ugly paint. But by the 1990s, many pencil manufacturers started painting pencils and imprinting them with brand names that I've scratched here on this pencil. Because <laughs> I am not sponsored by anyone. There's an interesting story behind how familiar yellow pencils came to be. So we're at 4 minutes and 38 seconds. So I guess I'll keep going. Pencil history following the wood. Early American pencils were made of eastern red cedar, a strong splinter resistant wood that grew in Tennessee and other parts of southern United States to be nearer to the source. Northern manufacturers migrated south and set up wood mills until eventually the greatest 
concentration of U.S. pencil manufacturers had established factories in Tennessee. To this day, U.S. producers are primarily con concentrated in the South. By the 1900s, however, additional sources of wood were needed. Pencil manufacturers turned California, Nevada, mountains, where they increased cedar, a specimen that grew in an abundance and made superior pencils. California in incense cedar soon became the wood of choice for domestic and international pencil makers. There you go, Raven. Five minutes and 34 seconds. I can't wait to get my package. Thanks for watching.